falling down is an accident, but staying down is a choice. It's okay to fail. It's okay to fall. It's okay to lose, but it is not okay to quit. It is not okay to give up. It is not okay. You are better than that. You are not a quitter. You have more within you to give. This can't be it. Are you a victim or a victor? Which one is it going to be? It is not okay to quit. It is not okay. You are better than that. You are not a quitter. Don't stop because of failures. Don't quit because it is getting hard. Success comes at a price. I am not ready to give up. I am not ready to quit. I am not ready to stop. This is not where my journey ends. This is where my journey begins. This is where I fight back. This is where I make my stand. Make a stand. Make a stand for yourself and your dreams. You are bigger and better than any losses you have had. You are smarter and stronger than any defeat. You will learn and you will come back for more because you are relentless. You are relentless in the pursuit of success because you know it gets better for you. You know that you were destined for a great life of riches and success. You know that. Now go show the world. This is where it all starts. Kick off your life in the direction that pushes you towards a life. Today is given to you as an opportunity. Today might be bad, but let me tell you what, they don't last. They never even start. Today can and has the potential to be incredible. Do you know that? Do you know that today has the potential still to be incredible? Right now is the time to make today happen, no matter the circumstances. Because today can define you. Today could be the day you need to be defined into a stronger person. This strength, this strength on the inside of you, man, this is what lasts. This is your legacy. The legacy that pushes you into the right direction. And let me tell you, that direction is always gonna be forward. Because forward towards a future with a purpose, is one that's constantly achieving and constantly looking to be better. So become the person that you admire. Find out who that is, become that person. Who is it you admire? Follow them, watch them, see how they operate. You become what you observe. So start to become that person that you were always meant to be. I'm not saying be someone else, I'm saying find out what about them speaks to something in you. So know that this is gonna change you. And this over here, this bad habits are what's gonna be left behind. Tough times are gonna be inevitable. There will always be there. But you, my friend, <laughs> you're gonna be one step ahead of them, always. Take this as your opportunity to change your life for the better to enjoy the life you deserve, to have the future you've worked for, the future you know you can have. Use this as a tool, a tool to motivate your life through your success. A life where you can take control. Make sure you know which direction you're headed in. Organize your world in your favor, your favor for your purpose, for your future. This is the opening to take you towards a life full of success. You have this control. You have always had this power. Unleash the animal, the animal that pulls you towards the future you've earned. This opportunity is your power. The time you have now is your power. Take it. You know that you can have this potential, the potential to feel like you've worked for it, feel like you know what you deserve. Trust your work. Trust your progress. Make this your power, the power to succeed. This is where it all starts. Kick off your life in the direction that pushes you towards a life. If you don't tell yourself who you are, then, then you'll allow anybody else to tell you who you are. Wherever the energy goes, that's where the energy flows. And, you know, what I, wa what I would really want them to know 
is to, to, to tell themselves who they are. Like, I am powerful, I am amazing. Within a week, he wasn't getting bullied no more. She wasn't, she wasn't saying that she's ugly anymore because she stopped listening to the outside noise and she started listening to what she told herself she was. When you stop tending the, uh, the garden, those weeds are going to creep back, whether you like it or not. Like when somebody does something perceived as great, it's almost written off because they're assumed to be gifted. When somebody says, you only accomplish this because X, Y, Z, I don't like that. The secret to success is doing a lot of little things consistently over a long period of time. It's, it's a development process. It's, anybody can do it. We're, we're moments away every day from a decision that's going to completely change our life. If, if the journey you're on is big enough and it's going to have enough impact and, and change your life and other people's lives, one reason is not going to be big enough. And you need to put a lot of thought and a lot of preparation and a lot of meditation into all of the reasons why. Because at some point in time you're going to need to gather all those little bad boys up and then and intently focus on it. to have enough courage to get back up. We have the rest of our lives now to go have an impact and hopefully change a generation. And I think it takes a dreamer with vision that has incredible work ethic, that has the ability to move and flow as things evolve and change. And to me, that is, is almost the perfect storm to achieve something that everybody has said impossible because you have to be calm. You have to not listen to all of the chatter and the noise. You have to be able to block that out. You have to have extreme vision and then nothing happens without that work ethic that I learned from my dad. We're surrounded today by people being satisfied with mediocre. So if you say you're gonna do something, you do. Set any goal you want, dream, vision, whatever. Uh, you do the work it takes to get there. And then once you start executing, you see that through. We're living in a day and age where we're, we're limiting what we think is, is, is possible. We're getting in our own way. And, and my, my the thing that I want to get people to do, and, and you've probably heard somebody say it before, but motion creates emotion. The hardest thing to do is start moving, engaging. Once you start to move and engage, you realize two things. One, it's not, it's not as scary as you thought it was. And two, you actually start enjoying what you're doing. It was, it was, the only thing that was scaring you was the, the, first, mo the first action. The moment you realize the next step isn't going to kill you, and that next step is the first step to evolving, changing, growing, and learning, and becoming literally the best version of yourself, that's the most beautiful thing. It's not going to kill you. And putting yourself in the game, you're giving yourself an opportunity to achieve something that everybody else said was impossible. What do you want? What's your passion? What are you trying to accomplish? You have to find out what you want and where you want to go. Then we can start formulating the plan. You can't formulate a plan and figure out the steps unless you know where you're trying to go. You'll just spin around in circles and it probably move backwards. How can you go somewhere if you don't know where you're trying to go and what you're trying to achieve? Don't be so rigid with how you're gonna get there because that's how you're gonna discover what your passions are and, who, and who's, who's supposed to be on your journey. And that's, that's how truly you're gonna discover what your passions are by showing up every day, digging, grinding, hustle, whatever you wanna call it, and being open to all the opportunities. Don't let yourself be held back by all your problems. Instead, 
I want you to let your ambitions push you forward. Forward is the only direction that you know. This is the direction that transforms your future into a place worth the work that you've been putting in day in and day out. Now is the time to take this opening as your future. This opportunity in front of you will be your future. The future that you have and will always have. Take today to stand up to your risks and say yes. Say yes to the power you have. Say yes to the endless opportunities given to you every day. Because that one yes, that one singular yes can define your future into the direction you've been dreaming of. Into the life that you have always wanted. You are the power you need. You have the power that you've been craving. It's been in you the whole time. This yes, this yes can transform your life. Transform your life constructed on your potential, positivity, and power. This is the life you fought for. Earn it, want it, and work for it. You need to know that you can open the door because you can write your own rules. This is where your life finally starts. You can become someone with a purpose on your life. You can have respect for yourself. So set your life.